Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Welcome back to the last of our six types, not five types, as I said in the original video, because I'm a Muppet and I forgot about this type. The last of our six types of calculation for National 5 Chemistry. And it's not a very elegant title, it's the best I can do though. It's the masses of reactants versus the masses of products. I've got a worked example here from 19, uh, 19? from 2019. Uh, and I think I'm going to show you how to do these calculations two quite different ways. I think I'm going to start with the fast way, and then I'll show you the more traditional way. Um, so let's start with the quick way. Uh, the quick way has got three steps here. So this is the quick way. Number one, step number one, is uh, find the ratio of the big numbers between the two chemicals. Actually. Technically speaking, let's identify which chemicals we care about first. Let's have a look at this question. This is all waffle. Once you come across words like this and this, no. Never mind that. It's not relevant. Let's have a look at this instead. This is relevant, starting here. Calculate the mass in grams of ethene. Right, so that's one of the chemicals we care about. This one. Required to make, they'll mention one other chemical, 410 grams of cyclohexene. So that's the other chemical we care about. Sorry, butadiene, you're not welcome at the party. We don't care about you. Um, so first of all, first step in the quick method is find the ratio of the big numbers for the two chemicals that we're interested in. Sometimes call the mole ratio. You'll sometimes, um, some chemistry teachers quite correctly call it a horrendous word called stoichiometry, but it's the big numbers. So find the ratio of the big numbers. In our particular case, uh, that is just 1 to 1, of course, which is nice and simple. Stage 2 of this is change the big numbers into grams. Now, can I remind you that the big numbers are actually moles? So why am I randomly changing it into grams? That's because the question asks for a grams and gives you a grams. It doesn't ask for moles, and it doesn't give you moles. Um, so let's do that, in fact. Um, let's do stages one and two. There's only stage three to go here. So stage one, it's one to one. That's actually one mole to one mole. Now, this left-hand side here is going to be for the ethene, and this right-hand side column, that's going to be cyclohexene, so we don't get mixed up. Now... I said here, stage two, change these big numbers into grams. Some people are tempted to say, oh, well, one mole means one gram. No, 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 it doesn't. It does not mean that at all. If you're interested, one mole, how much does one mole actually weigh? Believe it or not, that's a concept we give you already. It's called the gram formula mass. Just in case you didn't realize that, that's what the GFM actually is. It's the weight of one mole of a chemical in grams. So in other words... We want the GFM of these chemicals. Um, so let's do that. C2H4, we need the world's least readable page 7 from your data book to tell you the mass numbers of the different elements. Or if you're incredibly sad like me, you already know. Um, because 2 times 12 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So this is stage 2. We're going to change into grams here. 28 grams of this chemical would make 6 times 12 is 72 plus 10 is 82. So 28 grams, which happens to be one mole of this, would make 82 grams, which is one mole of this. If, of course, that had been two or three moles up here, you would take this number and multiply by two or three. In our case, we've simply got one times it, so that's why it stays as it is. Then we need our last stage. Stage three. Um, now, what have I traditionally called this? I've called this, oh yeah, work out the multiplier. Which sounds a bit cryptic. Let me show you what I mean. Because, remember, there is a number given to us here. 410 grams. Where does this go? Well, 410 grams of what? Cyclohexene, which is this side. So let's put 410 grams here. And of course, our missing number is here. 
Now, I'm not going to go into maths and ratios. If you're good at maths and ratios, you might realise that this number and this number are in the same ratio as this number and this number. But if you don't know what I mean by ratios, don't sweat it, because that's why I'm calling it a multiplier. In other words, folks, what have we done to 82 to turn it into 410? Have we divided it by 2? No. Have we multiplied it by 2? No. Have we divided it by 10? No. Have we multiplied it by 10? No, that would be 820. Oh, look. We're getting closer though, aren't we? Um, I've only ever seen them use easy multipliers and dividers at National 5. It's a very different case at higher, but we're not there yet. So if you find the multiplier here, I'm hoping you can realise that we multiply 82 by 5 and you come up with 410. So that is our multiplier today. If, if it had been 41 grams, of course, then that would be dividing by 2. And the really good news is we're on the home stretch now because whatever we do on this side, we do precisely the same on that side. And then that is your answer. 5 eighths are 40, 5 twos are 10. So our answer is 140 grams. That has just earned us three marks. And in fact, I've slipped up here because I have actually put a unit in here and you, in fact, don't need to. Because like I mentioned in some of my other videos, it's safer not to put a unit in, in chemistry, if they mention the unit in the question. Because if you put the wrong unit in, like grams per mole or something weird like that, or even if you put 140 moles by mistake, because you're obsessed over moles, that would cost you a mark, and that would be such a shame. Because it's actually quite a gift for three marks. That's the quick way. Now I'm going to show you the more traditional way. Right, folks. This is our more traditional way. Both work, by the way. Both give the same answer. Um, number one, uh, in the traditional way, is to change the given mass, whichever mass is given in the question. Change, that looks like Gwen mass, sorry. Change the given mass into moles. Now that's moles of one of the chemicals. Stage two, very similar to the other stage, use the ratio, that's the mole ratio, of course, of big numbers, to work out how many moles of the other chemical you're dealing with. And lastly, you're not finished, of course, because the question is not asking for moles, the question is asking for grams. So change the moles of the other chemical that you just worked out into grams. We're going to need a triangle here with mass crushing the mole and then the GFM is down here. Let's run through um, this method. I think I printed the question twice. Yes, I did. Uh, let's run through this method here on the same question. So stage one, turn the mass that's given to you into moles using our triangle here. So what mass is given? 410 grams of cyclohexene. So stage one would be 410, that's the mass, by the GFM of cyclohexene. What did I say that was? A GFM cyclohexene, uh, 82. So 410 over 82, which gives us, let's pull in a vintage calculator, five. We've got five moles of cyclohexene, let's just do C6H10, so that's this guy here. Stage two, I said, was to use the mole ratio to work out the moles of the other chemical. Now, this is lovely because uh, it's a nice simple one here. The ratio is simply one to one. Um, and I should just label this, that's C2H4 to C six H ten. We have to make sure you go the right way here. If it's not one to one, make sure you're dividing or multiplying the correct way around. It's sort of one of the reasons I'm not so keen on this method. I used to teach this method for donkey's years, but I tend to go with a quicker method now. If people are happy with that, anyway, let's push on here. So five moles of C six H ten. That's a five in there then, according to our sum here, which means of course you would have five moles of C two H four. That's the other chemical we're looking for because they want the mass in grams of ethene. Excellent, we're nearly there. Stage three, I said change the moles of the other chemical, which is five moles of ethene. So that's five moles of that, back into grams, because the question's asking for grams of ethene. And we use the triangle again. This time we're covering up mass, and we're going for moles times GFM. So stage three is five moles times the GFM of, let's get which 
get the chemical right. C2H4, that was 28, wasn't it? Yes, it is. So 5 times 28 gives us 140 grams. Boom. Three marks, whichever way you slice it. Not too difficult. Very quick recap then, guys. So, there are two ways to do these questions. These, how do you spot these questions? Because they give you or ask you to make a balanced equation, and there's always two masses involved. There might be lots of other chemicals, but you can spot, by reading the question carefully, which chemicals are the ones they actually mention. So, whichever chemicals are physically mentioned are the chemicals that we care about. And the other chemical, no, forget it. So, identify the two chemicals. Look at the ratio, guys, uh, and we have to find the ratio of the big numbers. Then change the big numbers into grams. Effectively work out the GFM of this and multiply by whatever the big number it is. Same with this. That's where we got with 28 and 82 from. And if you want to do it the quick way, then we're lastly, we're looking for the multiplier. What did we do? Oh, we put in the number from the question, my apologies. So we feed in this number here. This is where 410 came from. Please make sure you get it on the right side, of course. And we're looking for a multiplier. And as I said, I've only ever seen times 5, times 10. I've seen divided by 2. I've seen divided by 5 as well, I think. Um, and I've seen divided by 10. Now, these are common ones. I've never seen a, 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 a difficult multiplier, if you see what I mean. So once you've figured that out on this side, apply it to the same side, uh, to the other side, my apologies, and that is your answer. Or... If you would prefer the more traditional way, and it's totally fine because they all give you the same calculation answer, you can turn the given mass. There we go. Turn the given mass of chemical into moles. Now, 410 grams of cyclohexene. So we use the triangle, and we did 410 divided by the GFM, which was five moles of cyclohexene. This one here. Then we have a look at the ratio of the big numbers. Um, and we work out the moles of the other chemical. So that was the one that we calculated from the question, and this is the one that we worked out, uh, the other chemical, if you like. And because the ratio is here is just 1 to 1, it was obviously 5 to 5. If it had been 2 to 1 here, then this is the larger number, so you would have had 10 to 5, 10 on this side. And lastly, uh, once you've got the moles of the other chemical, change that moles back into grams using the same triangle here. So in this case, we had moles times the GFM. Please make sure you use the correct GFMs. That's just a tripwire for this way. It's easy to get lost in this one. And you end up with 140 grams. That, unlike I initially said, is the true final calculation uh, for type 6, guys. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.